Hello everybody, my name is Donnie Lee, Superintendent of Schools, and we're back again with Three with Lee, where we take three minutes, go around to different campuses, and spotlight the outstanding things that are going on inside our schools. And today, we're at Southern Hills, we're with Miss Martinez, and what we're going to do is we're going to spotlight our Amplify curriculum. One of the most important things that we can do is have a strong curriculum throughout our district, in particular at our elementaries that feed into our junior high and high school campuses. So again, we are here with Ms. Martinez in her first grade bilingual class. Ms. Martinez, walk us through what we'll see in this class. So for the last several weeks, we've been working on different fables, and today uh, is the end. So this is our assessment piece where the students actually have to fill out a story map for each fable. Um, a lot of us can't write yet, so some of us are drawing. And then at the end, they'll bring it to me and I'll ask them to tell me the story so I can see how much they've understood of each story and what they have learned for these last few weeks. And I know a big emphasis throughout our district and throughout the state has been reading. You know, yes. reading uh, comprehension, reading scores with STAR are way down everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I know it's early in the year, yes. but how would you say the Amplify curriculum is helping so far to uh, help our students comprehend and read better? It actually has been really good. At first I was really iffy, but I've actually loved it and the kids have loved it as well. They've learned so much from it and I can actually see that during the application part that's the part that I love the best out of this program is where I can actually see them working it out and I can um, basically just watch them grow from the beginning of the year till now. Yeah, so tell us Ms. Martinez a little bit about this assignment. Uh, so they are right here this is a story about the little boy who cried wolf <laughs> so they did the uh, the characters out of the story and that's what she wrote the wolf and then they'll tell me the setting and then they'll basically tell, retell me the story also uh, they're mostly really shy yeah. too so well you can tell that, that's part of being in first <laughs> yes. grade huh? and being bilingual <laughs> students well miss martinez we appreciate you we appreciate what you do for our students and for our district and it's Thank great you. talking with you great talking to you a couple quick things to point out as we wrap up three with lee the transfer period is still going on for those students and families who want to transfer either from Memorial to Legacy or Legacy to Memorial. Remember that transfer period is September 1st through the 30th and only those uh, transfers that will be accepted are through the extenuating circumstances. So please get on our website and look those over. Things like uh, special education programming uh, would be an acceptable extenuating circumstance. Something that wouldn't be is I want to uh, go over there with one of my favorite coaches. So you can kind of see the different things that are extenuating circumstances for you to transfer to one or the other of the high schools. Also, a lot of questions about STAR testing. Remember, parents, September 28th is when the TEA will release the STAR scores. And as soon as those are released, we'll get all that information to you. But again, my name's Donnie Lee. Been here with Three with Lee. We'll see you next time.